Good morning. This is Live from the Heartland. I'm your host, Lisa Smith. Uh, Katie Hogan's here today, too, and we are sharing and co-hosting this edition of Live from the Heartland. Today, we're talking about, uh, to and about, heroes. Uh, our first ga- guests are sort of everyday heroes. Um, you've probably heard about the protests at the Republic Windows and Doors plant that was shut down, and the workers uh, pretty much occupied it. Uh, you may not have heard that despite uh, Governor Rob Lagoich's support, they won their demands. Um, two of our guests today are uh, Adam Cater, who is the director of the Interfaith Worker Rights Center. And with him is uh, Martin Quiros. Um, and uh, good morning and congratulations. Uh, but uh, before we continue uh, with a recap of what went down th- with the Republic Windows and Doors Factory, I'm going to let my co-host, Katie Hogan, take over the interview. Hi, y'all. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome, Martin. Thank you. Glad you're here on Live from the Heartland. I'm really glad to meet you, Adam. Uh, The Chicago Interfaith Worker Community... Say your title. Sorry. It's, uh, don't worry, everyone has a hard time with it. We're called the Chicago Interfaith Committee on Worker Issues. Committee on Worker Issues. And I I know this group very well because I worked with... uh, uh, Kim Bobo and the rest of uh, the group over there at Interfaith Worker Rights, which is a larger organization than the Worker Center, or mm-hmm. um, the committee, a um, few years ago did a whole voter registration drive. with. Uh, so I, I'm really happy that you all are on the show. I'm also really, really happy about the Republic uh, uh, happening this week um, for our listeners. What we're, what we're going to talk about is not exactly the republics, but for a minute, can we, can we go over what happened and celebrate the fact that um, prior to even getting our new uh, president, we've got for him uh, on a silver platter, hmm. if you will, an example of how the bailout can actually arrive on Main Street instead of stopping at Wall Street. So... Um, Adam, were you involved at all? Were you down there at, at Republic Windows and Doors? And, and can you talk to the, the happenings there for over the last week? Yeah, it's my pleasure to. As, as you said, I think it, it definitely is a reason to celebrate. Um, I, I don't think the struggle is quite over, um, but I, I definitely think that this, this first uh, battle was won. Um, we, as far as our involvements, uh, we helped bring out the community support. You know, uh, the workers are the real ones who, who, you know, stood up by sitting down, as the phrase some people are using is. Um, inside the factory, they were the ones that really showed, um, you know, what, how this economic crisis uh, can, be, can be battled from below, as you were saying. Um, our job, I think, was outside of the factory, sh- trying to demonstrate to the public that uh, indeed, this is not just uh, a, an issue. This is not just a battle for the workers inside the plant. It really does affect the whole community. These are, you know, people with families that have uh, the effects are way beyond the walls of that factory. So, um, the Chicago Interfaith Community assisted in organizing daily rallies at noon to make sure that the media didn't abandon um, the workers and to make sure that people understood this is really a uh, this, this is an a, emblematic of a much larger str- community struggle right now. And do you know, can you say how many workers were uh, affected by the closing and also then by the, uh, at least so far, resolution of it? It's it's about 250 workers, uh-huh. and um, all of them will be receiving what they're entitled to under the Warren Act, which includes 60 days of full health care, 60 days of full salary, as well as accrued vacation days. Um, so that varies you know, among each uh, yeah, member of the plant. Um, the WARN Act, which stands for Worker Adjustment and Retraining, uh, right? Uh, it it comes from a time when the f- the federal government was in fact looking out for workers' rights. Yes. And um, how what is what does the WARN Act require? Sixty days, right? Correct. And so that's before something shuts down completely. A yeah. sixty day notice. Yeah, that's, that's the whole idea. Is mm-hmm. is that um, you know it's 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 just recognizing that people need to be able to prepare for these things that um, when you're that large of a business and the Warren Act does only apply to to uh, you know businesses like this one that's over a hundred people mm-hmm. um, you know it, that you really need to be preparing th- the folks that work for you that it's really an unjust there's no reason not to be able to give that kind of notice sure right 
Now, Martin Quiroz, uh, our second guest uh, for this pers first part of the show, um, uh, how is it that uh, you are accompanying Adam to the show today? What is uh, your struggle? Well, first, first of all, I would like to congratulate to the com to the company, to all those persons for the stone windows that they won the uh, the case, right. and also to congratulate the u the union they represented them because yeah. they helped them. You a, a great, great uh, '30s era union, um, always always a little more progressive than my dad's union, IBEW, but uh, the EU, yes. Well, I well I can say that about this union is uh, really uh, strong, but I can say about my union. You know, my union it can help us at all. In what the is last your union? My my union was international union, local one. But the thing is, uh, we have fighting for the last three years. The company where I was working was shut down. The uh, the name of the company was Heinemann's Bakery. It was located in uh, 43 and Pulaski. The thing is, the company shut down. And then since that time we are fighting for the last uh, the last couple of months we already s uh, we won some uh, the case so the 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 judge told the company to pay us uh, 60 days w uh, wages. salary wages mm -hmm. also supposed to pay us uh, the warming act that uh, we supposed to pay us too because the the company just shut down without notice the same like this way like happened to the windows. And then uh, we're still fighting for the union don't help us at all. We lost vacation. We lost severance, severance pay because they just told, told us that we're supposed to fight him before the uh, six months uh -huh. after the company shut down. Uh -huh. And then they just closed it up uh, at all for uh, all the union things. So there was uh, some sort of statute of limitations on when you can claim for your back wages? Exactly. Huh. So now we, we think we, we're still with the, with the hands tied up. So now we are thinking to, uh, is the, is today is the moment to get together the same with the company Stone and Windows because they won already. So we would like to go with the, uh, these uh, people who they help, help them to uh, get a stronger in this, this, uh, this fight. Mm. So is why I'm here with uh, Sharon and you to take it a little advance with a, uh, to try to fix them up and also to hear the people outside of the radio that the products of the Heinemann's Bakery, they are still, still in the market. And they don't pay us at all. So we're still fighting for. 